Hello, it is John Kaufman here, and in today's video, I am going to discuss my diet and what I eat throughout the day to maximize my health and how I feel as a runner and my overall energy. And I'm not even going to call it diet, I'm just going to call it, you know, eating right. So to get started, I haven't really thought about what I put in my body until like probably a couple months ago after my junior year of cross country. I started to really think about what I'm eating and what makes you feel the best. Um, previously, I would eat a lot of processed snacks and foods that I probably should have been eating. I mean, they weren't bad foods. I still watched my diet just because I was an athlete. But throughout my fr freshman, sophomore, junior year of cross country and track, not track of cross country yet, that's coming up, but of cross country in the past three years, I've eaten and what I've thought was right. And then I started to assess it this year or last year actually. And it came out that what I was doing was not good as I thought. Um, I was hardly eating any fruits or vegetables, which are vital in giving you energy, you know. Um, so when I first thought about this, um, I wanted to become vegan. I wanted to quit eating all meat, all of that, all of the above, <laughs> and just eat fruits and vegetables, anything that, that's not um, animal product based. And I did that for about two weeks. I felt really good. But then I started to think like, um, I never felt bad doing this. It was just hard maintaining, I guess, just eating nothing but fruits and vegetables. And I love meat. I love eating animal products, but it became hard for me. So I kind of switched back to just eating, um, some meat, but I tried to make that balance about a 90% vegetable vegan diet because I wanted that overall balance and well being in that way. So with my running, I could just feel a huge energy increase just because I've been eating more plants, you know, more plant-based products. And those are like the base for all energy of all life and all, if you're in ecology and, you know, in biology, it, it's, it's known that plants are the base of everything, base of all energy in the food chain. And it's very important that you eat that base of energy because it, it will make you feel really good. And I did not realize what I was missing out on. And it just surprised me how I felt. I kind of like lay this all out. Um, so for breakfast, I usually eat um, cereal. I like oatmeal raisin cereal with oatmeal and raisin. I like, I like that mixture. Um, what I did, I, I took out um, drinking milk and I replaced that with almond milk. And, and I found out that almond milk actually has 50% more calcium than um, regular ordinary milk. And I think that almond milk, especially vanilla almond, tastes way better than regular. Um, milk so I just started drinking all the milk and I like it and I think it's healthier for you and I like it my cereal so that's what I do so for breakfast I have all the milk uh, my multivitamins um, just something that has like a wide, wide, wide variety of vitamins that you need uh, for the day and then I have oatmeal raisin um, with a set of um, vegetable or just fruits actually and then for lunch I will have either a peanut butter jelly sandwich rice um, and then every day I have a salad um, I try to include mostly just spinach because spinach is very rich in iron, which is good for athletes and runners, especially like me, to get that, that energy and, and the um, blood flow in your body because iron is essential in developing red blood cells, which help circulate blood throughout your body, the oxygen throughout your body that gives you that energy and helps you feel good. So having those, those iron fulfilled foods is, is very important. So I include a lot of spinach, um, you know, some, some um, lettuce, but lettuce isn't very nutritional, but you still need that in your salad, you know, it's a salad essential, I guess you could say. And then um, I include croutons, you know, some cheese and dairy in there to just get a little bit of flavor. And then I sometimes I might use ranch, but I, I also like um, almond ranch and some different kind of like alternative ranch that's healthier and it uses um, yogurt instead of actual um, milk or whatever they use in traditional ranch, but it's healthier for you. So yeah, so most of my lunches just, cons just consist of peanut butter jelly sandwiches, um, rice, salads, and then maybe some snacks or something to go along with it. One thing that I did before, um, before I considered this this new um, nutrition plan, is that I mostly just had processed foods. I did did eat um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and peanut butter and honey sandwiches, but I never included fruits and vegetables and all that variety of fresh foods. It's mostly just processed, and that's what you have to really avoid. I mean, eating healthier, just kind of think about just eating natural and fresh and clean, and and in a way that's you know, people ate way back then before they had all these companies creating these these foods that is so easy to get on, our hands on. It's something you got to watch out for because that translates into processed sugars and, and 
lot of salt and things that, and a lot of unnecessary fats, that's not good for you. So then, coming after practice, I might have like a little drink of electrolytes, Gatorade or Propel or something to help keep me um, feeling better before dinner. And then for dinner, you know, you're supposed to have a large breakfast, but <laughs> I know you're supposed to have a similar dinner. Dinner's actually supposed to be like the smallest meal of the day, but for me, after running, you know, however, however so many miles and, and workouts, that dinner usually is pretty large and the portions are pretty large for me. So I try to eat, and I include salad, a big portion of salad. Uh, depending on what day of the week it is and what workouts I've been doing, I might include a little bit more or less of protein. So I eat plenty of peanut butter and I might cook myself a, um, a grilled chicken, uh, just plain grilled chicken or maybe uh, a little steak for that iron, that iron essential, red meats, uh, which is very, very uncommon for iron intake. Um, I'll try to include that. Um, I'll drink almond milk, plenty of water to rehydrate myself, um, some Gatorade along with that, and then my multivitamin again for dinner. And then I'll try to, you know, eat that plus some rice, um, not, not a whole lot. And when you eat healthy, it's not complicated, you know. And people, when people go vegan, it's, it's not complicated. You just, you just need, you know, that, that variety of foods still. That's why I, I, nest, I didn't want to go vegan, just because of that. I, I kind of overstressed it, and it made me nervous if I was going to get in the right nutrients. So that's why I incorporated some, like, chicken and, and red meat, just to make sure that I was getting those essentials. But overall, it's, it's not that complicated. Um, I was doing research, and actually, Kenyans have a diet that's 90% plant-based. And saying that, they, they mostly just eat fruits and vegetables and 10% is just meat. And, and they success in running. Any Kenyan that you see is, is very, very, very talented and very, very well fit in running. And that's mostly because they, they, they eat well and they don't overeat. They don't eat processed um, junk foods um, like, like we do. And that's very, very unhealthy for you. So taking steps and eating healthier, just cutting out processed foods that's not necessary, eating fresh, eating plenty of iron and, and energy fulfillment essentials. You know? But yeah, that is my diet, and it's, I don't think it's that complicated, but I can just overall tell you that I feel so much better how I eat and, and how I feel as a runner. It's, it's amazing how it makes you feel, I think. And I can definitely tell you that, that my running has improved. I feel way better. I can think more clearly in my education. I, I'm calmer. You know, I have anxiety, but that's gotten better with my diet, I feel like. Um, in the future, I'm going to make a video talking about different ways to deal with stress and anxiety because my, me, myself, I had to think about this all the time because I have such bad anxiety and I've thought of things that helps me stay calm and I will make a video about that because I know I have a lot of friends and a lot of family that have anxiety, so that could be a good video to make. But I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that, that I helped you a little bit with, with getting those essential foods into your diet. and. And so basically, you just cut out all the processed foods that, not all of it, but you know, most of the processed foods usually aren't good. Manufactured foods. Try to stay fresh, clean, and trust me, you will feel great. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.